Okay, welcome to my balsa wood cutter, um, the final video. Um, it's about 90% finished. I have uh, yet to put a uh, piece of plexiglass here to help the uh, uh, stick not get pushed through my wiring. And now I have to buy a HC06 um, Bluetooth module so I can connect my phone uh, or my laptop Bluetooth and run this without uh, USB. Let's give you a quick demonstration here. Everything's pretty much all set up. Um, I have my standoffs, a chant for this, made this mount for my arm, made the arm, made the clamp to hold the razor blade, the cam to hold the uh, um, arm, and then this uh, arm in here, the actual aluminum arm, there's multiple holes, so I can change the, uh, the uh, different um, depths of cut. And then it's got a steel uh, square shaft that goes through here, and then this is actually um, rounded over and threaded through this aluminum block and over here it's just rounded over and get pushed through this tailstock and then that quarter inch um, round when I uh, turn this down on the lathe is it's got, actually got a small screw um, threads going in there so I can put a th uh, screw in there and that will help uh, it not be pushed out so there's actually like there's uh, no movement movement whatsoever um, besides up and down and there's no movement back there, so it's actually really well built for the three days I took to build the rest of this. Um, I had to take a long vacation from it uh, because I thought it was going to take so long to build, but um, it wasn't actually that bad. Um, like I said in my other videos, I thought the uh, building of this cam would be the hardest part to figure out. The depth of cut and the arm and everything, and I didn't really do it as... Uh, started making pieces and I made this first and I have two bolt holes There's one down here as you can see and one up here so I can change that the pivot point um, And I just made multiples of that and then made my blade to fit so it didn't cut through my tabletop um, So I'll just give you a quick demonstration here So what we have to do is we just stuck this in the foam just to get it in there And we have to type in uh, Seven centimeters to get it past this roller and through the blade just type in seven centimeters Hit enter or just type in seven, I should say. So I can see it cleaned off the end right here. And now we can um, type in whatever we want. And my program, what I have it um, do is you can type whatever number you want, and then when you hit enter, you type in the quantity of what you want. So let's demonstrate, we'll type in five centimeters. And then we'll type in, I want three five centimeter pieces. There's one. So now you have three exact lengths of uh, pieces exactly five centimeters long. Let's measure one. Okay. There you go, five centimeters um, exact. So it's actually uh, really really accurate it's about like a half a millimeter off and that's probably my fault of uh, inputting the calculations from steps per centimeter um, what I did to calculate it is that I just did a really long piece of my ruler it was about 30 centimeters and then divided by how many steps I made or had to step it to get it there and uh, it takes 153.83 centimeters to go or steps to go one centimeter and I think that um, decimal value is what makes it off that much. Um, I'm not sure if it rounds it or what the heck or if it leaves it off. You can't really get a half a step in here. It always is between two phases or 0.83 steps or whatever. But that might be the issue, which <clears throat> it's not going to be that hard to calculate that out. But I'd rather be a little bit over in all my pieces and a little bit under because then I can send them down if it gets a bad angle or if I just need a sand an angle it'll just be extra long so I can get my angle I want which a half a millimeter isn't enough anyways but it'll work um, now I can input whatever number I want I can uh, do a decimal value the only thing I can't do is a number less than one centimeter and that's because like I said when it takes your number one that you enter in for one centimeter times it by 153 um, I don't know why or maybe it's just my uh, uh, variable my variable that I'm using to hold that number if it just rounds it that it can't do 
a number less than one, I'm not quite sure. But I can do um, 1.1 or 1.05 um, or 1.01 or whatever the heck you want. Um, but mainly it'll just be whole numbers for what I'm going to be using it for. And the reason why I built this is just to uh, make multiples so I don't have to do it. And I have to uh, do my second program so I can type in, um, for example, let's say for Sense Pad when we do our bridges this year, if we measure every single piece that we used and uh, journaled it, what I can do is take those numbers and imp or actually physically write a new program, which you're not really writing a program, you're just typing in your numbers. There's, not, there's no going to be a, um, communication between uh, you and the computer. You'll just hit enter and it'll cut all your pieces to whatever length and then uh, when it's done cutting, I'll probably have like a long delay and uh, what you'll do is just take a new piece or a different piece out, put a quarter inch piece in there and then you'll, it'll zero itself out and things like that. So, um, yeah, it'll be really great to do that. Um, so you don't have to sit here and type all those in. And like I said, I want to, uh, get that Bluetooth so I don't have to do this on my laptop. I can just pull out my phone and um, do it from there. Now, I'm. you might be able to get um, a uh, iOS um, or Apple app that will be running or can actually communicate through that through Bluetooth, just a um, Bluetooth terminal um, app. But anyways, let's just keep on cutting here. Enough of me talking. So let's say if we want a piece, uh, two pieces of 10 centimeters, um, I think I should get that out of this thrust set stick. It's not that long, so we'll see if it'll make it. So I want 10 centimeters and two pieces each. And this is the reason why I gotta put this plexiglass in there, because you can see it's already starting to head over. Now if I did a foot long piece, it'll be moving um, towards these wiring. And I probably should actually move these guides in, but for right now I don't want to. Um, just in case, if I ever want to cut two pieces of uh, um, quarter-inch sticks, I can uh, feed two of them in at one time. But uh, show you again that it's pretty accurate. Line up here. Oops, close enough for you to see it. But that one I moved off just a little bit. But I mean. Can't get any accurate than that. I could, but I don't want to. Um, so what I'll do is I can actually type in a negative number. The only problem with typing in a negative number is it still cuts it afterwards. There it goes. Let's grab a new stick. You just have to be careful to not have your fingers in there because it will probably cut your hand off if you got your hand to fit underneath there. So let's this piece out again. So it kind of does it all by itself, you just kind of st stick it in this rubber foam. And there's your little piece. And uh, like I said, you can do 1.1 cent centimeters. Do five of those just to show you the repetition. The problem with doing small pieces like this is they don't get pushed out of the way. There's five of them. Collect all these pieces. I ain't gonna be able to measure this because my fingers would be in the way. But you can get the idea that they're all the same. Oops. So, uh, oops. Can we move them now? Anyways, there's five pieces if you ever need them. Um, and we'll do one 30 center piece, centimeter piece. So I can show you that, uh, when they get really long, if what happens over here, sometimes, it doesn't happen all the time, but I just want to make sure if this is going to be doing it by itself, I don't want to get it caught over here. Just because something gets fed weird. Okay. So I'll measure this one out. And I wish I had my caliper. And there you go. 30 centimeters. So. 
Um, it works really well. I'm pretty happy with it. All the uh, time I spent building this. Hopefully it pays off to use it. Um, get rid of this piece. And if you ever accidentally type um, a number greater than what you wanted to, or just, like, if you accidentally typed in a 100 centimeter piece, or whatever, um, you can actually, after you type the number and it asks you the quantity, you can hit zero and it won't do it. So right, right now I typed in seven to zero it out. If I hit zero, it doesn't move it. So now if I hit seven, enter, type in one for the quantity, I'll do one cut of seven centimeters. There you go. And usually what I'd be doing is shutting this off before I stick my fingers in there, just, just in case if I actually type in two seven centimeter pieces or whatever, I don't cut my finger off, trying to reach in there. Um, but yeah, there you go. I'll do another 30 centimeters. Or I can probably get a, uh, we'll try a 45 centimeter piece. I might be able to make it reach in here. I'm not quite sure. And I could just mount a standoff right there and that would work too, but I think plexiglass will look a little bit better than random standoff. I think we'll make it. Oh, barely. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Take that piece out. Get that out of here. Alright. Problem with what I just did, I can't measure it because I don't have a meter stick. But there, 45 centimeters exactly. Um, yeah, it's really good. Works really well. Pretty happy. I did 10 centimeters by the way. This one's why it's gonna be past the blade. But uh. Can't wait to get that Bluetooth module, otherwise this will be really fun to use. Um, I don't know what else to type in, but yeah, there you go. I think I've wasted enough uh, pieces of balsa wood trying to make this video. That's not it. I have uh, sticks over on the other side of the couch. You know. So if my teacher's watching this, hopefully he doesn't sell all the pieces of wasted. Don't tell him that either if you know him. Alright, see you later. I'll probably be posting another video of uh, this working and me not talking so uh, you guys can get some more ideas and I'll go through a maybe a more detailed uh, build here. So if you're not catching up with all the other videos I've done, you'll be able to watch them all. So thank you.